What's up guys? Bruce from Printable here, Simple Shop Management Software. Out of the water-based cam, the last talk that I thought was really neat I wanted to give you guys summary on was Michelle Moxley's talk um, when she worked at a previous company, although it's on our LinkedIn, so I'll just say it, Gildan, before when they purchased a Honduras screen printing facility and was able to revamp it and bring down the waste, save a lot of money, and bring up the efficiency for that shop. This was a really, really interesting talk because it gave a lot of insights into data at a bigger shop at scale, which I found personally intriguing. Uh, they really go into data analysis and profitability of that shop. I mean, this was a larger shop too, but extremely inefficient. I mean, their setup times were 46 minutes per screen. There wasn't much training, um, low education levels, also little to no English. So the communication was a big thing too, but they were just bringing people in, barely training and just saying, go ahead and do this job. So the facility is super, super inefficient. Now, what Michelle was able to do at the facility with the team was bring down setup times to nine minutes, and they started to treat the team as a group, and they were re reward them, the teams, as a group too, with free lunches as well. They would do a couple different things to get this though. So what was interesting is that Michelle said they were trying to record data about how long things were taking, setup times, breakdown times, down times. And when they were first doing this, they did not get accurate data at all. They said that it was just essentially lies or made up data or whatever have you, or when you remember they would write things down. So they would take multiple sources and average those times out to get some actual data analysis here. So they would write down all the specifics, the dryer temperature, the speed, the time it took to set up, the screens, all these details, and record it in Excel. And this is how they were able to determine where there were holes in the setup, the pre-production side, and downtime with printing. The other thing I found interesting is that they spent three months then, they, they, they changed their training to spend three months up front paying them a, a kind of slightly below average wage and then after that they would pass and kind of get that certification and they would get a bump in their salary to then be more certified and be able to work with the team more fully. There's this great analogy that Mike McCollowitz of Profit First talks about in that if you have a toothpaste tube that's completely full, you tend to maybe drop some in the sink, you kind of spread it all over and you waste it, and you just use as much as possible. Whereas if you have a toothpaste tube that's just on its last little bit, you'll roll it up and you'll squeeze it out and you'll keep pushing and you'll shove your thumbs in there just to get the little bit left over to put on your toothbrush right there too. She kind of mimicked that principle actually here too with waste in this facility. So they took out all the trash cans except for four and that's the ones that they used to be able to put ink back into, remix it, and then use it again. This was used to help reduce waste and boost their margins by 35%. Now that was in combination with an efficiency gain on labor and then also reducing all the waste um, from mess ups, from tape, from ink, all these different things boosted their margins 35%. That's, that's crazy, especially for a much bigger shop like that. But just to have such an improvement by looking at the data of what exactly was happening was really, really exciting. The last big quote that she left everybody with, which I think is hugely valuable, is she said, I'm gonna read this word for word. Look at what you throw away, it'll teach you how to print better. Although I kind of think it'll teach you how to print more profitably, but this was great. So that was Michelle Moxley over at m &R. She's super responsive too, so you can definitely find her on LinkedIn, be able to reach out. Hope you guys enjoyed those summaries. I'm sure SJA will be throwing more events or water-based printing events like that. Really, really helpful, not just to be able to meet other printers and learn, and but just to be in that environment and see and, and feel how the industry is pushing forward on a specialty printing basis like that. If you guys have any questions, would love to hear them. Leave them in the comments below.